Mr. Chen Yufong's family in Cheoduk District has two hectares of cocoa plantations, yielding about 15 tons annually and helping the family earn over 100 million dong. He had previously intended to cut down his cocoa trees as price and output were unstable. But thanks to organic production methods and improved sales, Fong stuck with cocoa trees. Cocoa can be evenly harvested for eight to nine months a year. They help ensure a stable income for farmers. Bari Vũng Tàu has more than 600 hectares of cocoa trees with over 500 hectares in Childuk district, yielding an average output of 2.4 to 3 tons of dry beans per hectare per year. Quality has increasingly improved thanks to modern production processes. Currently, of the more than 600 hectares of cocoa trees in the province, about 400 hectares have been certified for organic production under Japanese standards. Local cocoa enterprises have invested in deprocessing and diversified products to cocoa powder, chocolate, and cocoa confectionery. A cocoa park by Nong Farm was recently built in Childuk District, giving visitors the opportunity to experience the cocoa production process. It's quite interesting. This is the first time we have seen where the chocolate we eat every day comes from and how it's made. Demand for cocoa beans in Bari Vung Tau province and for export is increasing. The cocoa capital, Childuk, will expand its growing area to 650 hectares by 2025. The potential for cocoa development in Baria Vung Tau is great, as foreign experts have come to invest. We have set an annual goal of continuing to increase the area growing raw cocoa materials. We have also focused on connectivity to ensure that all of the cocoa is sold, to help farmers feel secure in production. Cocoa trees have been revived in this land. Products with the Bari Vung Tau brand have also reached high-end markets such as Europe, Japan and the Republic Korea.